In the heart of America, nestled within a dense and ominous forest, stood an abandoned amusement park known as Dark Haven. Once the epitome of joy and laughter, it now lay silent and decaying, shrouded in legends of unspeakable horror. Among its many attractions was the infamous roller coaster, the Abyssal Descent. Decades ago, the roller coaster was a marvel of engineering and innovation, a testament to human ingenuity. However, one fateful night, tragedy struck during a ferocious thunderstorm that ravaged the region. The roller coaster was struck by lightning, and a sinister energy seemed to awaken within its steel frame. From that moment on rumors began to spread of eerie sightings and ghostly whispers echoing from the tracks. Years later, as the amusement park fell into disrepair, a group of daring teenagers, fascinated by the legends, decided to venture into the forgotten realm of Dark Heaven. Among them were Mark, the adventurous and charismatic leader, Sarah, his bold and fearless girlfriend, Brian, the tech-savvy skeptic, and Emily, the superstitious and timid girl who reluctantly tagged along. As they approached the rusty gates of Dark Haven, a chill ran down their spines, but Mark's determination urged them forward. They pushed past the overgrown vegetation and entered the desolate amusement park. The sight was unsettling with broken rides and faded memories lurking in every shadow. In the distance, the ominous silhouette of the abyssal descent rose against the moonlit sky. It seemed to call out to them, daring them to take the ride of a lifetime. Brian Ever the Rational One warned them about the dangers, but Mark dismissed it as mere superstition. He convinced the group that this was their chance to uncover the truth behind the legends. The friends hesitated, but curiosity and bravado took over. They boarded the creaky roller coaster, the old seats giving an unsettling sense of foreboding. The operator's booth was empty, and the controls appeared ancient. With a shaky hand, Mark pulled the lever, setting the ride in motion. As they ascended the first hill, the atmosphere grew tense. The rickety ascent filled the air with an eerie symphony of creaks and groans. The higher they climbed, the darker the forest below became until it seemed like an impenetrable abyss. Suddenly, the ride jolted, and the tracks seemed to warp, shifting as if they were alive. They plummeted into a series of heart-stopping drops and gut-wrenching twists, but something was wrong. The speed and intensity surpassed anything a normal roller coaster could achieve. Sarah's screams of excitement turned to terror, and Emily clung to her seat for dear life. Brian was desperately trying to make sense of the erratic ride mechanics. The coaster veered into an unexpected tunnel, and the darkness enveloped them like a shroud. Within the confined space, they caught glimpses of ghastly apparitions, flickering in and out of view. Panic swept over them as they realized that the legends were no mere tales but a grim reality. As the ride neared its conclusion, Mark's bravado began to waver. He knew they had unleashed something malevolent, something that sought to claim their souls. The coaster flew off the tracks and into a realm beyond comprehension, a twisted dimension where time and space warped. In a desperate bid for survival, the friends clung to one another praying for an escape. Suddenly, the ride came to an abrupt halt. They found themselves back at the starting point, shaken and terrified but alive. The roller coaster stood still, its malevolent energy seemingly quelled. It was a haunting experience that none of them would ever forget. As they left Dark Haven, the park seemed to recede into the darkness, perhaps retreating to a world of its own. The group vowed never to speak of the ordeal again, and yet, the memories haunted their dreams. Dark Haven remained abandoned, its secrets buried within its decaying walls, waiting for the next curious souls to dare to uncover the horrors that lurked within the abyssal descent. Once a popular amusement park in America, Abaddon Park boasted a variety of thrilling rides that drew crowds from all over the country. Among them, the crown jewel was the infamous haunted Asylum Coaster. The coaster's dark reputation and eerie design made it the stuff of legends and rumors. 
It stood tall at the edge of the park, a towering structure that sent shivers down the spines of even the bravest visitors. The story of the haunted Asylum coaster began decades ago when an actual Asylum stood on the very spot where the amusement park now thrived. The Asylum was notorious for its mistreatment of patients and it closed under mysterious circumstances. Some believed that the spirits of the tormented souls still haunted the grounds. As the sun set over Abaddon Park, the coaster's entrance beckoned thrill-seekers with a haunting glow. Caroline, a young woman with a passion for the paranormal, had come to the park seeking adventure and excitement. Her friends, skeptical of the coaster's legends, dared her to ride it alone after dark. Undaunted, Caroline joined the line, trying to ignore the unsettling feeling that something watched her from the shadows. As she boarded the rickety coaster car, she noticed the chilling wind that seemed to echo with ghostly whispers. The ride operator, a somber figure in tattered clothing, warned her to hold on tight as he released the brakes. The coaster began its ascent with a slow, agonizing climb. The creaking of metal and the distant sound of clanking chains only intensified the ominous atmosphere. Caroline's heart pounded as she reached the top, where a full moon cast an eerie light on the abandoned asylum below. With a sudden jerk, the coaster plunged into darkness. Caroline's screams were drowned out by the cacophony of rattling chains and haunting music that seemed to come from nowhere. The ride twisted and turned through shadowy hallways, past decrepit cells, and into pitch-black rooms. In the dim light, Caroline caught glimpses of ghostly apparitions wandering the halls, their pale faces contorted in pain and sorrow. Terrifying laughter echoed through the asylum, and the coaster's chilling soundtrack intensified the sense of dread. As the coaster hurtled through the darkness, Caroline felt an icy hand on her shoulder. She turned to see a ghastly figure beside her, his hollow eyes staring into her soul. Frozen in fear, she couldn't escape the horrifying presence next to her. The coaster continued its terrifying journey, the spirits of the asylum becoming more aggressive with each twist and turn. Caroline's mind raced with thoughts of escape, but there was no way off the ride until it reached the end. Caroline's once skeptical friends began to believe the legends as they witnessed her transformation. They sought the help of paranormal experts and mediums, but none could dispel the malevolent spirits that had taken hold of Caroline's life. In a desperate attempt to break the curse, they returned to Abaddon Park determined to confront the source of the haunting. As they entered the desolate asylum, the spirits grew more powerful, their eerie whispers almost deafening. Deep in the heart of the asylum, they discovered an ancient, weathered diary belonging to a former asylum worker. The diary recounted horrific tales of abuse and torment inflicted upon the patients by a sadistic doctor who reveled in their suffering. The friends realized that the doctor's malevolence had left an indelible mark on the place, and the spirits were bound to the asylum and the haunted asylum coaster. Armed with this knowledge, they devised a plan to release the tormented souls and break the curse. With the help of a powerful ritual, they managed to free the spirits, allowing them to find peace at last. As the spirits ascended to the afterlife, Caroline felt a weight lifted from her shoulders. The curse had been broken, and the haunted asylum coaster would never be the same again. Though the ride remained, it no longer held the same sinister aura. The park management transformed it into a tribute to the asylum's history, educating visitors about the dark past while also honoring the spirits who had suffered. And so the legend of the haunted asylum coaster lived on, not as a tale of fear, but as a reminder of the power of redemption and the resilience of the human spirit. Abaddon Park continued to thrive, its newest attraction a testament to the transformative power of facing one's fears and confronting the ghosts of the past. In the heart of a secluded amusement park in America, the Midnight Express stood tall, a relic from a bygone era. Its rusty tracks snaked through a dense forest, and rumors of a haunting spread like wildfire among the park employees. Despite the warnings, thrill-seekers couldn't resist the allure of riding the coaster under the eerie moonlight. One moonlit night, a group of friends decided to test their bravery and boarded the creaking coaster. 
As the train ascended the first hill, an unsettling fog enveloped the riders. Their laughter turned to nervous anticipation as the coaster plunged into darkness, the only source of light being the pale moon above. Whispers echoed through the woods as the train hurtled through unexpected twists and turns. With each jolt the riders caught fleeting glimpses of shadowy figures among the trees. The air grew colder, and the sensation of being watched sent shivers down their spines. As the coaster roared through a pitch-black tunnel, a chilling voice pierced the darkness, warning them to turn back. Ignoring the warning, the friends laughed nervously dismissing it as a part of the ride's immersive experience. Yet, the unsettling voice persisted, growing louder and more ominous with each second. Panic set in as the coaster suddenly screeched to a halt, leaving the riders suspended in eerie silence. The fog thickened around them, and a bone-chilling presence surrounded the coaster. Unable to move, the friends could only watch in horror as ghostly apparitions materialized before them. The figures were pale, with hollow eyes and grotesque expressions. Screams echoed through the forest as the coaster inexplicably jolted to life again. It sped through the remaining track, the apparitions vanishing into the night. The friends stumbled out of the coaster trembling and pale, knowing they had experienced something far beyond the realm of the living. The park employees found them shaken and terrified, vowing never to return to the Midnight Express. But the legend of the ghostly roller coaster lived on, drawing brave souls who dared to challenge the unknown horrors lurking within its twisting paths. And so the Midnight Express continued its haunting reign, a chilling reminder that some rides are better left untested and some spirits never find peace.